back about a year ago, almost exactly a year ago, we spoke to Dion von Sale, he's the chair of the Western Cape Property Development Forum, and he was seeing firsthand how the construction mafia, extortion cartels, were extending its tentacles into this province. And it seems it has had an impact on particularly public housing development. The developers of the biggest housing project underway in the Cape has pulled out because of extortion threats. It's the AXA Symphony Way project right next door to the Cape Town International Airport. It's supposed to provide homes for about 3,200 families from Blukisdor, Malawi Camp, Freedom Farm. It's The deadline for this project is in fact 2026, but now the developers say we won't continue. Dion van Sel is chair of the Western Cape Property Developers Forum. We spoke to you in March last year. Back then you uh, had some grave concern about the impact of the construction mafia. Would you say that the situation has improved or worsened in the last 12 months? Dion, good morning. Good morning, Lester. Good to speak to you again. Um, looking at the situation from a public sector point of view, I think the situation is exponentially worse than than any of us could have expected a year ago. Uh, on the private sector development side, not as big a problem, and there are very specific reasons why the public sector is suffering more than the private sector. I think the, the challenge with the public sector projects are they massive. Uh, the procurement processes are incredibly cumbersome and incredibly difficult, and there is, ironically, very, very little public or face to those projects. You know, what do I mean? In the private sector, you've got individuals that travel the whole length of the project, from conceptualization, from idea, all the way through to turning the key at the end. In the public sector, it seems to be a bit of a relay race. One department does planning, one de department does land acquisition, one department does procurement, one department then eventually engages with the professional teams to design, and so the relay Baton gets passed from department to department. So in a way, public sector projects are a sitting duck. It's very difficult to build a, a community relationship, very difficult to put the checks and balances in place that the private sector can. For example, procuring security services at a drop of a hat. Private sector can make a decision, can make the strategic call and do it. Public sector goes through a cumbersome process. Yeah. So the reality is I think we're going to see more and more um, – uh, attempts to, mm. to, to, to go for public sector projects, which mm. is sad because these are service delivery projects. And these are affecting the the most vulnerable in our society. At this stage, what is known about the stop-start nature of this massive AXA Symphony Way project? In fact, this was also the site in the project where a city a housing official was also shot and killed not too, not too long ago. Now developers have pulled out just how common is it for developers to say, you know what, it's not worth the risk we are pulling out of these projects? Yeah, my understanding in this instance, and I'm not a specialist on this specific case, is that it's a contractor pulling out saying it's too too dangerous. You know, contractors depend on their staff on site, they they work close to their own people. And when when your when the risk to your staff is too great, it doesn't make sense. Um you know, so, so the exact details on this specific case, I don't know. But what I find fascinating is this project is absolutely in the public face. It yeah. sits next to one of our biggest international airports. You know, you, you would expect this type of thing to happen in, in hidden corners and dark spaces, if I can put it that mm. way. This is in the public, in the public face, and yet it seems to be a mm. war zone. So, um, yeah, but what has changed? You know, you, you, you asked at the beginning of the interview, I think what, what has changed is the penny has dropped with our national police uh, services. Um, <clears throat> we have had a number of engagement with role players, business against crime, South African yeah. police. There, there, <clears throat> there is awareness. Dion van Sel, really appreciate your time. We'll pick up this conversation again in next week by Chair of the Western Cape Property Developers Forum.